Bam, 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 bam. We got on, ladies and gents. Uh, presenting un Sunday especial, something to get you started before the week. Um, today's beer is a very special beer. We are bringing you Jolly Pumpkin Artisan Ales Bam Beer, and I'll explain to you in a minute why it's so special. Before we get to that, I want to explain to you what a wild ale actually is. Um, so a wild ale is brewed uh, a little different than uh, most uh, most other beers. So a wild ale, they use uh, either three different types of bacterium. It's either the Bretomyces, the Pedioacus, or the Lactobacillus. Now what's different with these is it's it leaves a it imparts a funky flavor on the beer. It's not your typical standard like the the yeast has a mind of its own, and when introduced to it, uh, and when introduced to the beer, it kind of imparts its own flavors. And at the end, you usually get a sour, funky type of beer. Now, the reason I have this lovely wine glass with me today is uh, uh, wild ales are usually served in either flutes. Uh, oversized wine glasses or tulip glasses so I decided to go with the wine glass today and they are usually served between 45 and 50 degrees or you can uh, cellar uh, you can cellar them between uh, 40 to 45 degrees so a little bit about the brewery uh, Jolly Pumpkin Artisan Ales is located in Dexter Michigan uh, a little bit about them they the head brewer is Ron Jeffries. Uh, he's the head brewer and the owner. Um, him, it's actually pretty funny. Him and his wife, uh, when they were kicking around some names, um, they were hanging around on a spring day in, uh, in Michigan. And when they were just kicking back names uh, back and forth, Jolly Pumpkin was just one of them that stuck with them. And then they just threw in artisan ales at the end and you know that's how they got the name. Um, so they are actually owned uh, uh, together with Northern United Brewing Company. Now, Northern United Brewing Company, um, they, it's uh, several companies that, are, that, are, that come together and they are still actually considered craft by, and independent by brewing, the Brewing Association standards. Um, with Northern United Brewing Company, uh, they have also, um, it's Jolly Pumpkin Artisan Ales, Grizzly Peak Brewing, and North Peak Brewing Company. And they also have Bonafide Red and White Wines, Bonafide is the name of the, of the wine, and Civilized Whiskey, Rum, and Vodkas. Now all this comes together to form one singular company, and uh, Jolly Pumpkin Artisan Ales is part of that company. Now. We chose this beer, Marilyn and I, we were uh, looking around beers for my uh, Cicerone tastings and this beer stuck out to Marilyn when we were looking through the aisles. So let me read you this beer and then I'll tell you the story of why it stuck out so much to Marilyn. So here on the label of the, of the bottle, it says, This delicious farmhouse ale is named for our Jack Russell, who struck by a car bounced back in fine tenacious Jack Russell fashion and is brewed for those of us who knocked down, have picked up, dusted off, and carried on undaunted. Golden, naturally cloudy, bottle conditioned, and dry hop for a perfectly refreshing balance of spicy malts, hops, and yeast. Please enjoy our beers in good health and look both ways before crossing the street. Cheers and mahalo plenty. Now, the reason that this one stuck with Marilyn and stuck out to Marilyn so much is that she actually had a Jack Russell named Bambi. Um, so Bambi, you know, Bam Beer, very similar. Um, she actually adopted uh, Bambi from the Doral Animal Rescue when he was two years old. Um, what happened with Bambi is that he was actually a Jack Russell as well. Um, he had been struck, also been struck by a car and he was actually used as a fighting dog. And he didn't really like men a lot because he was used as a fighting dog and he was always in those areas. Um, so, when she adopted him, he actually had stage three of heartworms. Uh, Dr. Rolando from Pet Med uh, Animal Clinic here in Miami, he was able to save him and he lived a long, fruitful life to 15 years old 
until he recently passed, uh, actually this year. Um, so I would, let's open the beer and let's check it out. That is a crazy head of foam. And not even smelling it straight to the, from the glass, like you could smell it from here. You can smell the yeast, you can smell the, uh, the aromas from the bacteria. It's like you can definitely tell that this is a wild ale. Sour, spiced, and look at that head of foam, it still hasn't died down yet, that's amazing. Hey, what's up guys? It's actually a lot more pungent on the nose, but you get a sour taste, you get, the, you get a slightness from the citrus and the dry hops, but it's actually it's really, really smooth. It, 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 it's more smooth than I thought it would be coming off the nose. Um, this is a delicious drinking beer. And before we go today, Marilyn, Sergeant, come on, come on over. Come on, guys, come say hi. This is my little guy. He's four years old, and he's uh, the worst dog ever. This is my lovely wife, Marilyn, and Bambi was her dog, and this is the reason that we have this beer today. So, cheers, guys. Till the next time, send us our love. Uh, if you have any questions, shoot them over in the DM, and, you know, till the next time. Cheers. Look away, sergeant. How did you know that, Hi, guys. <laughs>